Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Erica Bain, back again for our weekly trek into St. Joe's Parish. In this video, I am breaking down season six, episode six of Queen Sugar. Let's get into it. This episode opens on Charlie and Davis reconnecting over FaceTime, and they seem stronger than ever, even with the craziness happening online, all of the talk around them reuniting. I love how Charlie speaks about Davis and her, specifically their growth, grounding, and freedom during the self-care day with Nova and Aunt Vi at the house. But but Charlie gets called away quickly to receive the news that the party does not want her to run for state senator, but instead they want her to run for Congress. Honestly, we should have anticipated this because Charlie is in this councilman spot, feels like a whale in a lake, and she needs bigger waters to swim in and impact. Because she took charge of her narrative by confronting the criticism about her and Davis's relationship, ultimately her decision to return to the relationship, the party is seeing more positive light shed on her as she received even more positive feedback from the people that matter. We catch up with Ralph Angel and Darla on their baby moon at the fancy hotel he mentioned last episode and we can finally see Darla sitting into calm and relaxation a bit, allowing herself to feel enjoyment in this moment. That seems to be the running theme for the episode. Rest, renewal, relaxation, or at least for the first 15 minutes of the episode, they will have you believe this because everything goes left for everyone who even finds a moment of peace in this episode, except for Charlie. Just when I thought the theme of this episode episode was rest peace and restoring thyself the police break into nova's home and hold her at gunpoint in the bed while searching for narcotic this was absolutely ridiculous they search her house and make the most dramatic beats of shoving her and dominic to the ground when he arrives to her home to see if she's okay what's happening and tries to rescue her and then they parade a baggie of marijuana that they found like they just cracked el chapo's stash like utterly ridiculous it's unfortunate that this is happening in real life but I am appreciative for them including this in Nova's narrative and showing how truly unconscionable the act of police harassment and abuse of power actually is. Mr. Prosper is making great progress on a lighter note in this episode. This is probably the lightest note as we see the new nurse who was the in-house nurse and soon to be love interest for Mr. Prosper as well as Billy cheer him on in his physical therapy as he powers through. Now this triumphant feeling is soon replaced towards the end of the episode when Prosper forgets to share with Billy that he invited Vi and Hollywood over and after some annoying exchange between both Vi and Billy the truth comes out about Jimmy Dale sending Billy into an emotional tailspin. We're gonna come back to that in a minute. Theo got arrested and the sheriff is now looking for Ralph Angel. Everyone's peace is being destroyed up in this episode. Ra finally comes clean with Dollar towards the end of the episode explaining how all of the circumstances combined led to his decision and I would be with him on that if he did not have numerous outs. He's literally in this predicament now because his ego wouldn't allow him to not only ask for help but even just communicate to his partner that he doesn't have things figured out or that he doesn't know what to do. At the bare minimum he could have done that and if you have watched my previous breakdowns you know how I feel about that so I won't harp on it now. I'm hoping that Ra is not headed back to jail with the baby on the way but it is not looking good in the most random of randomness what the hell moments in this episode Celine tries to make an advance at Hollywood well if I'm honest you could totally see that coming because Hollywood has stepped up like the black Superman in Gabriel's life and look at him Hollywood is the walking bomb.com but sis I'm gonna need you to check your urges because this one could cost you the trust of the one woman who was in your corner and ready to move heaven and earth for you and your son of course Hollywood tells Vi and after a quick moment of well what did you do Hollywood Vi snaps back into place and blame where it belongs and goes to see Celine who looks like she made a run for it now when Hollywood turned her down it did kind of feel harsh but not because of anything that he said just because we know the fragile state that Celine is in and watch her run up them steps read all types of sisters about to do something even sillier so vi you better get to praying honey during a game of space micah gets agitated with his line brother who starts to throw gay jokes isaiah in his way and i'm truly enjoying how this storyline is playing out because at the top of the season i assumed they were going to explore the fluidity and micah's sexuality this season but then as the season progressed it does look like he's just developing a genuine relationship with isaiah 
and just a super solid friendship listening to him talk to charlie and how he's reacting to how people are behaving around them makes me think that he's straight but truly grateful for this new relationship with an amazing friend and honestly after this episode i'm sitting here thinking erica why does it matter why do you need to figure out if mike is gay or not why do you assume that because he is vulnerable comfortable open and loving with another man that he is gay just why regardless of if micah and isaiah will explore a romantic relationship or not they are great additions to each other's lives and i'm truly enjoying the coping and healing mechanisms that isaiah is introducing into micah's life and the loyalty fight and protective nature that micah brings into isaiah's it's truly dope to see these men see about each other's health wellness and physical manifestations in the way that they do and shout out to charlie who handled the conversation so right saying who are you to be truly free that is what these haters think and will always think that you cannot allow them to affect you and how you live your life she handles what could have been a coming out moment so gracefully and dropped into exactly what it should be a son talking to his mother about a current life experience and his mother loving him through it all later on in the episode charlie is checking up on billy who is at the bar reflecting on her feelings life thoughts and grief caused by a lot of her childhood hurt shame and trauma she shares that surviving isn't just about moving past the pain it's about how you harness it what you make from the pain and that hit me charlie charlie literally does not miss in this episode and we love to see it towards the very end we get to see dominic embrace nova who makes a stand at the jailhouse and gets released immediately because all of the actions that the police took in this day were completely bogus and she finally is able to really stand in her power demand her freedom and her self-respect and put them in check and who's waiting for her when she gets out but dominic and it's that embrace for me i cannot wait until next week's episode that is your full breakdown of episode six let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comment section down below it's your good sister erica vane breaking down queen sugar if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on so that you don't miss any of my queen sugar videos we are halfway through the season and it is getting really good so much to talk about let's talk about it in the comment section down below and while you're here go ahead and check out my queen sugar playlist and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye